Yep. That is on speed. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Portland Place of Thing. This is Amanda. This is Kat. Today we're going to be camping. I'm really, this fire isn't working. This, well that's okay, because I have some fire. What? Come join no us. No way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With us as always is Andrew. <laughs> they have dragged me into the wilderness after cloning me again. He back. Yeah. He's going to have some survival and wilderness tips for us. Don't go down an alleyway with these two. That's survival tip number one. Great survival tip. Don't like alleys. Don't like... Oh, yeah. Didn't hit anything. Sweet. We, Where's your fire? We also have a special musical guest. We do. Plastic Shadow. Plastic. Shadow. Is here to play some sweet tunes in the middle of the forest. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Let's get this fire started because... We're camping, so the first thing that we have to do when we camp is start a fire, right? Indeed. You require a fire to scare off all the animals so they do not come and steal your camping wine. Hot tip. Hot wilderness survival tip. Okay. Start a fire first. All right, where's our fire? Fire is over here. <gasps> you can sit there, Andrew, or you can join us. does not matter. I mean, I'm here against my will, so this is what you get. Wait, oh, it's hot. Oh, it's it's hot. hot. It's so hot. It's hot. You guys, it's oh, so hot. It's so hot. It's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. I dropped it. It's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, so we're going to toss the fire into the fire pit. It's a beautiful fire pit. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. We uh, Somebody referred to it as something that would be on Angry Beavers. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to take that as a compliment, even though I've never seen Angry Beavers. I, it is a compliment. I have seen it, and it's delightful. Oh, hey. It's angry, but... Cat. Yeah. Before we throw fire, yeah. um, what's the phone number to call in? Oh my god, you guys. It's 503-288-4442. So you can call in if you have any camp stories. Um, you want to ask Andrew anything about uh, surviving in the wilderness. Uh, you want to uh, complain about your neighbor's cat. Yeah, well, we're down with that. We, yeah, please. Uh, yeah, we're you, live. You are at camp right now. I like how it says June 1st. Does it say June 1st? It does. It does. You're welcome, everybody. Yeah, it's the 5th. I've gone back in time. <laughs> and uh, I did everything right on computer graphics, except for the date. That's cool. So how about you throw that fire and try and make in the fire pit, and we won't start a wildfire. The world's on fire. Let's not contribute. How about yours? Close. Totally. All right, I'm going to try it. Hey, Andrew, I want you to throw one from where you are. Yeah. We need to get this fire really going. Really good and hot. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> Me! <laughs> hey. hey! Damn it! <laughs> and then he keeps moving. Are, is the fire pit supposed to. No, move it's when not you supposed to move. It's not supposed to move at all. All right, let me try this. What? Yes! Hey. I, I liked how I. Um, <laughs> Tested this and really liked the way it worked or looks, and you can't see it at all. Can't see. Go Boop ahead, try it again. Andrew's turn. I'm in. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it does look good. Okay. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Colin. Wonder if I could do that. No. Oh yeah, do it. Softball style. All right, softball style. No, don't do it. I'm afraid a little break. <laughs> Sweet. Just as just a smooth. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you're in the woods, doubling as a D&D &D nerd, and want to throw fireballs, you now know what to do. Fireball, fireball, fireball. <laughs> Precisely. Fireball. Yeah. Fireball. There we go. Ooh, that fire is getting oh, raging. It's so hot. Ooh, it's hot. It's so Ooh, hot. hot. Oh, it's so hot. You got, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Okay, we're gonna get this fire really nice and hot. It's not held together with painter's tape. No! Why would you think that? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> what do we got on our schedule? Because it's almost a fire. It is. 
Yeah! yeah. Okay. Now we can stay warm. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I made this in my bedroom Phew. yesterday. All right. We dragged the studio audience out here into the woods as well. Are you feeling plenty warm? Like you'll survive? Let, let me move it closer. I feel like I'm going to survive to the end of the episode. Don't burn your hands. Ouch. Amanda's fireproof. <laughs> That's what we learned today. What? 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 Pardon? What? Uh, okay, okay, so what's, what's next, next on our things that we have to do if we're camping in the wilderness? I don't know if you guys noticed, but we are in the woods. Look you around. You require shelter. Re oh. And okay. since you're not going to kill me for another 54 minutes, you can't use my corpse like a tauntaun. Well, that would be a sleeping bag, right? Like, yeah, you cut them open and then yeah, you yeah. shimmy inside. Right, yeah. no, I so assume that comes later. So we won't need you later. until later anyways. Exactly. And I don't see that you have any cardboard cutout logs laying around. So I'm guessing you're not building a lean-to. <laughs> a what? Lean. A lean to. L lean mm. with it. Two with it. Go build a tent. <laughs> and leave me alone. I like that as an insult to yell at <laughs> Go build a tent! Sorry. Oh, sorry, Jacob. That was really loud. Sorry, Jacob. Uh, Jacob's in the trees right now, uh, trying to get some sweet footage of owls. Oh. Ah! You remember? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what lady owls sound like. We do require. Ah! Keep it high. <laughs> All right, okay, hey, let's build hey, a tent. Hey. Um, Is this how we get our owl audio for the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. Is chat saying anything? I don't know. Do I have cell re reception out here in the wilderness? Oh, that's a great question. It's really hard to get cell reception in the wilderness. Surprisingly enough, we have Wi-Fi. Hmm. hmm. What an interesting forest we're in. Uh, I'm apparently being warned by David that I could die in the dark forest. And the answer is yes. This is going to happen. Hey, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. We miss you. We miss you. We do miss you. What okay. are the... Oh, well, we, ha we have instructions. Okay. Um... Well, how long do we have to build this tent? As long as it Forever. takes. Forever. Okay. Until we so die. We got a tent. Yes. We, we, we need a rain fly, which I think is just the covering. Oh, yeah. Tent yeah. poles. We got uh -huh. two. We got an awning pole. We got stakes. We got 15 stakes. Tasty. Gear loft. So it's a little hammock that holds your gear. Aw. Compression, <laughs> compression straps, which hold the tent in the bag. Uh, Jesus, there's give a us lot of stuff in here. Oh, 503. 222. Uh, two, two. You like what you... 503-288-4442. If you like what you're seeing or you hate it, give us a call. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you hate it, let us know, because we won't change a goddamn thing. <laughs> but call us to yell at us, because yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. for good television. Yeah, 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 come Ooh, yell at us. Give me one of them sticks. I, I don't know which stick. This is just a bad hair tie. Okay. Camping. Yeah. Camping. Look at, I did it! Hey. I, I made this stick! My excited face. There we I go. Made, this Andrew, is a stick. Andrew, like to make this stick? I think there's only two of those. Hey! You, yeah. can, you can make one of the two. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, hey, doing okay. it. Um, so, Amanda, do you have... Whoa! <laughs> fight, 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 fight! Oh, gotta be... I mean... <laughs> yeah, you should sword fight with the sticks as you make them. That sounds like a perfectly safe thing to do here. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Amanda, do you have any camping stories? Have you ever gone camping? I sure have. What'd you do? Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> we build a fire all the time. Uh, one time we went camping in a place that had bears and I was really scared to go to sleep because they're bears. Yeah, yeah. And my parents gave me a rock and they were like, this is your bear rock. If a bear comes to the tent, you're gonna throw it and hit the bear with rock. I still have that rock. <laughs> it's just a regular old stupid gray rock. <laughs> it's just a gray rock. Okay, so we made two poles. Okay. Man, So I think we're nailing this so far. So, oh. so we gotta put it. Oh. No. All right, don't damage the forest. Okay, I got. The forest is very expensive. We do need to be careful with okay. it. As Oregonians, we need to value the forest greatly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have their own commercials. The we're the only place that has commercials for forest. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stick the insert we are losing into viewers. intersecting That's fine. sleeves at the center Hopefully of the tent. Hopefully, David likes us. So these sleeves? This one? These sleeves. All right. 
that are right here. Do you want to start on your end? I want I you to start on your end, poles. girl. Okay, well, I have, the, my end's way over there. Okay. Well, I think we, oh, 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 how do we do this? We're gonna slide it through. Oh, like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to hit your guys' stuff. It's great television. Yeah. Well. Um, Kat, yeah. tell me a story about when you went camping. Um, I assumed you went camping. I, I have. I have gone camping. Um, my grandmother actually, uh, Grandma Alice, rest in peace. R.I.P. She actually lived in a camping, <laughs> I was going to say zone, uh, camp, uh, campsite place where you could like go to a, go have little sites and like have a bathroom in the area and stuff like that. So uh, she was in charge of like keeping it nice and uh, dealing with any issues that abounded. So every time we went to visit Grandma Alice, we went camping. Oh, that's cool. And she lived in a motor home and she hated blue jays and loved feeding the chipmunks and they had their own little stump for her to give them Lovely treats of peanuts. Oh no, this tent is so big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, but yeah, so it, like, we didn't really go camping, camping when I was younger. We just, oh. we just went and, and hung out with Grandma Alice. Okay. And then she'd call me Juliet all the time. And who's that? That's my sister. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Oh, but when she did say my name, she said Katrina. So, doing great. All right, I'll hold this. Do you okay. want to get the other yes. pole? Andrew, you did a great job. I held a pole. Uh, Andrew, have you ever gone camping? Many times. Tell us a story about it. Please, please. <laughs> please, Andrew. Thank you. Please, Andrew. We were young. Please tell us. On a hike. A number of us when I was in Boy Scouts. And we were only supposed to be walking about 10 minutes down to the next campsite. And we got lost on a beach. And for two hours, we hiked down a coastline. Jesus. Under a full moon. Whoa. And you could watch. How old were you? 12, 13. <laughs> and every step you'd take, the pressure wave of your footfall would send a ripple of sparkles like diamonds out in front of you through the wet sand. Eventually, we realized we were lost. Like, we knew we were lost, you know, an hour ago. We kept going because it was just a beautiful night. And we pitched our sleeping bags in the reeds near an inlet above the high tide line. And when the sun came up, the sp started to make our way back and met our parents, who were obviously panicked on our way back to the campsite since we had missed the mark by quite a bit oh. but just that moment when it's pitch black that inky night the darkness of the ocean and the almost full moon and the reflection in the sand just hangs in my memory before you started me in this nightmare resurrection process <laughs> oh no Okay. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> nice right. trauma. <sighs> well yeah. Done. You really painted a picture. Yeah, that was really pretty trauma. And we liked it. And we're glad you're safe. Yeah. Oh, this is a beautiful night. Of course we were safe. <laughs> God was watching out for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. What's the next step for this tent? It's looking pretty good. That's it. Unless we want to put like the rain shield on. Yeah, I don't suggest you drive. I think the it tent may thing. rain. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so enthused to put the rain shield on. Maybe we'll save we'll save the rain shield for a minute. I will say most of my camping experiences involved arson. Involved arson? Oh yes. What? Fire solves most problems when you're camping. As we have learned, it'll keep you warm. Yeah. It'll kill insects. Uh -huh. It drives off intruders. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, if you have a surplus of things you don't want to deal with, uh -huh. if you're simply scared, set things on fire. If you're what? Simply scared. Simply scared. Uh, Is that what? like simply safe? It's like simply safe. It makes you safe. When you are 12 and you hear a sound at night, set something on fire. 
Like the tent? Yeah. It doesn't matter what, just start a fire. Also, we were Boy Scouts, so we were playing with Napalm a lot. You were a Boy Scout? Yes. I didn't know you were a Boy Scout. Yeah, I know is. nothing about you, Andrew. <laughs> You've never asked. How, you I abducted me really off really the ask. street. <laughs> I went to bed one night and woke up in the trunk of Tony's car. That's Tony fair. didn't have a car at the time. His Once, license was revoked. <laughs> Once a month, I'm birthed from a cloning device to appear on this show and dance like a monkey for an hour. I'm going to test out this tent. Oh, it's spacious. Is it basically an apartment? <laughs> yep. Welcome to the tent that Tony what? bought me for Christmas. That's going to be $18.50 a month. <laughs> it'll, it'll never smell like this again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's it just going to smell like Amanda. It smells, well, it smells like new tent. Oh, New yeah. tent smell, you know. Let me see. I'm gonna Plastic and. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to smell it. Tents eventually get wet and then oh, it'll begin mm. to smell. It'll smell like wet Tony. Wet Tony. Oh, that's fine because I don't really like this smell. It smells I, like a weird cleaner. I really want to fill this up with like plastic balls. Yeah. We didn't plan correctly. No, no, not for this camping trip. You always need plastic balls for camping. Poking Andrew. Oh, okay. well, there's a pocket. What's this pocket for? It's to hold your treasure. Treasures. Treasures. There's two of them. And the AC turned on. I mean, yes. the wind blew. The wind is kicking up. All right. All right. Wait, wait, do I have a... Privacy. Y'all can't see this, but it's a privacy. It's, it's okay. Yeah, a there's a, just another screen. Just, just a window. Coming down. Uh. Well, it's much cooler out here than it, it is. is. It's stifling in there. Uh. And then it's successful at its job. God, let me. Besides move. actual camping, I did a lot more. Uh, going to camp. Yeah. Well, we'll take a break from our our tent. I went to camp. Summer camp. Christian. Summer camp. Christian. I went to one of those once. How was your experience? <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> I have never had that many Bibles thrown at me. Thrown Ooh. at you? Like physically thrown like at you? Physically thrown at me. That's the weirdest dodgeball I've ever heard of. They did not appreciate my views of the contents. So they threw? Okay, I'm gonna quote what's that movie. <laughs> this is not a weapon. Um, saved. saved. <laughs> this is not a weapon. <laughs> uh, my uh, uh, camp, my camping, summer camp, Christian camp, I was not a cool kid. Nobody liked me for most of the first ones. So I was like... First ones? <laughs> yeah, I, I went every year. You know, like the first season, second season. Yeah, third really season. Picked up yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth season? Yeah, yeah. Fourth season, fourth, fourth, yeah, kind of dipped season. a little bit. <laughs> fourth season is when they at least gave me the nickname Garbage Pail Kid. Did I mention my acne? Oh, God, that's so sad. <laughs> I know. That's sad. Man, kids don't get enough credit for being the worst human beings. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But these were, you know, children of God. Oh, they're children know. of God. Damn, you're so, not. <laughs> they were eaten by bears, correct? No. Because that's what's supposed to happen. They didn't. Like, oh. I've read the Bible. That's what happens to bad kids. They didn't. Oh, oh. That's false advertising. Yes, Amanda. Oh, what time is it? It's... Tool time! Just kidding. I fooled all of you. It's actually time to get a word or a tune or a note from our non-sponsor, but musical guest, Plastic Shadow. Now, listen to me. Listen to me, everybody watching. Listen to Kat. That <laughs> July 5th, which is a Friday, these dudes will be playing at the Ross Island Grocery. July 27th, which is a 
You guessed it, Saturday. They'll be playing at Future Bar. These are just places that they're playing soon. So I'm telling you about it. Give it up a warm, we can't hear you, welcome for Plastic Shadow! Twitch not later on. on. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that camera fight. <laughs> <Four, laughs> I mean, hey, we're over here. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Tony's having a hard time controlling a camera in the middle of the forest. The best part is that he's very short compared to the. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, so if we don't have any calls in the middle of this GD Woods. 503-288-4442. What's that number one more time? 503-288-4442. Woo! Hey, someone corrected the date. We're live from today. Aww. Oh, thank you, probably, David. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, this is pretty... I feel like a solid representation of what it's like camping. Yeah, you just sit around and you chat. Yeah. And Daddy then you needs have a, a beer guest. to yes. make this a yeah, proper camping a experience. Guest. I'm sorry, Andrew, what did you say? I said Daddy needs a beer to make this a proper camping experience. Yep. Mm -hmm. We did not get drunk before the tent went up, which is oh. a good thing. We set up the tent first, and now we can drink responsibly. Mm -hmm. We still haven't finished setting up the tent. Oh, it's you want to rain? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like so against it, but okay. We gotta commit. Um, I'm even. Uh, I'm worried about the top because it's not tied together. I'm worried it's gonna. They're gonna come apart. There's always. There's always at least one person who's like, I don't. I don't want to put up the rain thing, and then they're like. But we gotta put up the rain thing because it's gonna rain. That is especially foolish in the Pacific Northwest. Where not only will it rain, but as we all know, a Bigfoot will urinate on your tent in the woods. That is common knowledge. Indeed. That is the law, though. 
Oh, that's what these are for. Uh, look. Make sure that's the correct corner. Is it? Is it? Oh no, it's falling the other way. Do I have the correct corner? No, this one. It's, it's under there. Got it. Got him. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Ugh. Amanda. What? Does your family have... <laughs> Tell me about your family camping <laughs> situation. We have our own meadow. They do. That we go camping in. Well, my parents go a lot. Uh, and we're like big city campers now that we have like an RV and stuff. Yeah, it's a full like schwanky meadow. Yeah, it's a meadow in the middle of Idaho. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Oh my God, we actually, that took no time. Well, we nailed the opening without even thinking about it. Oh, did we? We're very good at this. Yeah. We are obviously natural campers. But what was this for? What are these? Andrew, I think what it's are these to take them down more, maybe? So that it doesn't yeah. blow away? You, uh, exactly. And to pull it slightly away from this so that it, it doesn't press against the tent itself so the water doesn't pass through and soak oh, you. Oh, this is supposed to go someplace. Cat, this is supposed to go someplace. Oh, no. Or Bigfoot oh, urine. Oh, does it go in the front? I think it goes in the, in the front. Around this thing, yeah. in this thingy? I think it goes in this thingy. I mean, it's good that I know how this is put together before we I'm actually... I'm still yeah, the distressingly <laughs> sober real for us. Yeah. I don't know where it attaches, though. Uh, this, this, uh, right here. Okay, I see it. Oh, my goodness. Wait. No. Oh. Up here. Now, as we all know, Pacific Northwesterners are renowned pacifists. The one time this changes is when we're camping. We will get smashed on cheap beer and fire guns off wildly. I don't fire no guns. I've literally I have literally no ghosts. I have literally wrong. touched one gun. Oh, I and have just touched it. It was at your parents' house. It was. I have <laughs> I have shot many guns. We <laughs> shoot uh, BB guns now, which are way more fun. Yeah. Uh, and like watermelons with our BB guns. I was like, you shoot watermelons. No, like the, the yeah, target. Yeah. They like okay. One like is it quieter? A BB gun? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Two. Dink. Uh, what, does it just go into the watermelon? Does it plode out the watermelon? It just goes into it. Okay. That's and still fun sometimes though. if it's a really juicy one, it'll go boom with its <laughs> liquid. Great. Um, and like if you shoot it enough, you're going to like. Make it'll it like up. fall apart yeah. or something. Sure. Sure. Uh, speaking of BB guns. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got shot in the face with a beaver gun. Nah, man, I got shot in the face with a beaver gun. <laughs> uh, shout out to a beer full of belly. <laughs> hey. Was he the shooter? Yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yes, he was. This is like a legit camp setup, though. Yeah. Like, I'm got, pretty impressed. We got the grill. Got the grill for some grilling. Grilling, even though like we should be nice. cooking over the fire. Sure. That is truly how you cook in a campsite. Once your food has caught fire, you know it is cooking. And when it goes out, you know it is done. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what other survival skills did you learn in the Scouts? Yeah. <laughs> I, I am sharing them with you as they come to mind. Oh, okay. 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 What I mean, about <laughs> knots? Yeah. How many knots do you know? How, how many knots do you know? Like currently, yeah, only a couple. Like I can tie a square knot and a noose. That's it. Most Sweet. of the rest have faded. All right. In How? my youth, I could have tied many a knot. All right. What do you do in case of a snake bite? Amputate the limb. Okay. What do you do in case a cougar attacks? Hope she buys you wine first. What do you do if uh, you're attacked by woodpeckers? Go flaccid. What happens if they don't leave you alone after you go flaccid? 
Are we in woods like we are now? Yes. You throw yourself onto the fire okay. while screaming, I'm a hemophiliac. When the woodpeckers turn to the trees, mm -hmm. arson. Got it. How do you feel about Smokey the Bear? <laughs> Conceptually or the mascot? Both. Conceptually, I think it is important not to burn the woods down regularly. Except for arson? That's except not the regular <laughs> part. <laughs> except for when woodpeckers That's are called self-defense. <laughs> more like a revenge <laughs> killing <laughs> when it's arson you're doing it intentionally you don't want to burn them down accidentally because that denies you the ability to do it on purpose fair enough so no fireworks in the forest no fireworks in the forest okay. fire does work in the forest though shout out to eagle creek uh <laughs> as a mascot uh, Smokey the Bear has gone through many revisions, mm -hmm. uh, enough that you can play a game of Mary Fuck Kill with him. All right. So? So? <laughs> 80s version fuck, 90s version kill, 20, uh, 2000 version Mary. Aww. What's on Kat's shirt? Which, which version? Which version team. is this? I'm not sure. It looks like, what, the 80s version? Maybe. Bless you. Give or take. The pollen is great in this forest. In this Hard forest, to tell. it is thick with pollen. Thick yep. with pollen. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh! What? Bugs. <gasps> I don't know, just the general statement of bugs. Okay, can we talk Bless about... You. Bless you! Can we talk about how much I hate mosquitoes? And when I say this, I mean that I literally, like, if I go outside, there are mosquitoes around, I am getting bit. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I have gone through... Bless you, and I, 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 the only thing I ever found that worked is a few days before I am in the wilderness or whatever, I eat brewer's yeast. Gross. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like a pill. It tastes like stale, stale crackers with old peanut butter. <laughs> so you just, you just take those, and for some reason, mosquitoes don't want you anymore. It's because you're, like, funky. Yeah. Because you smell like old I, crackers. Yeah, because I smell like old crackers. <laughs> Did you try Bitch, you alcohol? Like I never try alcohol. There is a reason campers drink like fishes. When your blood alcohol level gets high enough, mosquitoes get drunk and they leave you alone. But that's, they have to bite me before they get drunk, though. But they don't bite you long. But it the, only takes one and then I am terribly, right. terribly Zika. itchy. Then that and Zika! <laughs> and Zika! The one bites you and then drunkenly crashes into the others, which creates a horrible newscast for the mosquitoes, but fuck them. Lies! <laughs> 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 Z -z 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 okay. We Great. There, I took part. And scene. Beautiful, 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 wonderful. Okay. What about other bugs? I fucking hate. Have you ever set up a tent on an anthill? No, I have. Oh, oh, no. Fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm cursing You're cursing so much. I'm sorry. Uh, it effing sucks. It friggin. Oh right, we're live, aren't we? Oh we yeah, are. we cursing. are. We are. I'm gonna get the people mad. We're lounging live. Mm. Sorry, mm. Emily. We do. We do adore you. I hate it also when you get a bug in your tent and you're trying to go to sleep and it's like one of those flying bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's trying to escape and you're like, just escape. I have this open for open. you. Open, and it's like, nope, no, like, I'm going this way. This way, <laughs> this way. And you're like, I just get out. Um, you know what? I will say pads in a tent can change your life. Like if you're camping and you're not camping with pads, you're doing your body a disservice. Yeah, uh, the ground is really hard. Mm -hmm. It's so hard, and there's like rocks in it. What is that about? Jesus, mantle. Ugh. Is that what the top layer of the Earth's crust? <laughs> the Earth's called? crust. Is it the mantle? <laughs> Call in and tell us what the top layer of the Earth's crust is called. Five zero three two eight eight four 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 two. Educate us. Oh. Uh. 
ionosphere. That's a thing. <laughs> Tell us about it. Oh, uh, we want to know. Please correct us. But probably. Um, if you want to just call in and breathe, that's cool, I think. Just heavy breathing. What's your, what, um, okay. One more so, question. Bodies of water. Love them. Camping next to bodies of water. Beautiful. Do you prefer ocean, river, or lake? I've never camped by the ocean. Me neither. Um, it sounds gross. It's, I kind of like it. I think it sounds great. That's fair. Uh, how was your camping by the ocean? When it's by a tide pool, I'm not a big fan. When it's by like just a stretch of ocean that is in motion, it's quite enjoyable. What's your top, like first Put them in order. Yeah, put it in order. Like Sex, Mary kill. Yeah, Kurt. Who? Kurt? Kurt? Kurt. Kurt? Kurt. Hello? Hello? <laughs> is this Kirk or Kurt? Uh, Kirk, Kirk with a T. With a T. Man. Do you, what? <laughs> Kurt with a T. Oh, okay. What you hey, got Kurt, for us? What's on? the top layer of the planet called? What's the top layer of the Earth's crust called? Hey, is, am I on live? You're, yeah, yeah, you're, you're on alive. the show right now. Who am I talking with? Cat and Amanda. Hey, I got I got just a quick story to tell you. Let's hear it. Uh, it's kind of a hunting and camping story, but uh, you guys you guys mentioned Sasquatch. Yeah, we did. And uh, I got to tell you that my brother and I have, we were on a late elk hunt and we've been ca playing cat and mouse with uh, a bird of elk. And uh, it was snowing heavily, and there was already about a foot and a half of snow on the ground. Oof. And uh, we were running low on fuel, so we elected to uh, stop and build, a, build ourselves a campfire. Unfortunately, oh, some of the camps that had already moved out, they'll leave camp firewood, you know. So I had a bunch of firewood in the back of my truck, so we built a big ripping fire. And my brother and I were sitting around, basically waiting for daybreak, uh -huh. so we could find so we could find our way. And you know how a, a fire in the middle of the night, when it's really dark, it just kind of makes a ring yeah. of light. Yeah. At the edge of that ring, and I'm not joking yet. This. Uh, he had to have been seven feet tall. Whoa. All we saw was his arms swinging, his wide stance, gant, I guess you would, and he just looked over at us and just, and just made his way. And when he got to the, uh, to the edge of a tree line, he made a sound that I would not want to hear twice in my lifetime. What, can you, can you like recreate it for us? Oh, it, it, it was terrifying. And uh, our rifles, you know, we were elk hunting, so our rifles were laying in the truck. Yeah. So we were, we were unarmed, but it, it was uh, quite an experience. That sounds so scary. I don't like I it. I don't like it. It sounds so scary. Oh. And can I, can I, can I relate something to the gents? To the what? To the gentleman. Oh, oh yeah, means. sure. By all means. Look, how nice it would be to camp with a couple of hotties like you're camping with. You would be surprised, or maybe not, to learn how often I hear that. I've, in fact, been stopped on the street at random to be told that very thing. What? Not the camping, <laughs> but I told you that story when I got stopped oh. on the street about the sleepover. <laughs> Thank Th you! Thanks, Kurt! Thanks for calling in. And incidentally, we're, we're fortunate enough to have a bottle of brandy with us. Yeah, get nice and wasted after a scary thing like that. <laughs> well, thanks for calling, hey, Kurt. We're gonna, we're gonna pull it over to the band again. 
All right. <laughs> thank you so much, thank Colin. Thank you, Colin. Uh, we appreciate your time. Amanda. Hey. Friday, July 5th, they'll yeah. be playing at Ross Island Grocery. Yes. Saturday, July 27th, here in Portland, they'll be playing at Future Bar. And right now, we're going to listen to the groovy tunes. Twitch really enjoys them. We really enjoy them. Yeah. And here they are, Plastic Shadows. Special recipe. That's true. Special recipe for a family favorite, camping classic. S'mores. 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 S'more what? Seymours. How can I have s'more something where I haven't had anything? <laughs> You're killing me, small. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So uh, all right. here's the thing. Um, even with all my like camping or whatever, I don't like marshmallows. Never have, except for now. Because I never wanted s'mores, I never liked s'mores. I'd be like, let me set things on fire and then you can eat them, that's fine. That is until, how you cook when you're camping. Until I discovered that if you, instead of using regular chocolate, chocolate, chocolate you use cookies and cream ones. I'm not going to say the name of the brand, <laughs> but I think you'd all know what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, I don't know. You all know. Um, so I got a bunch of cookies and cream uh, by that, you know, company. That small time manufacturer. Very small um, <laughs> and not at all using slave labor company. <laughs> um, so I bought some of that. <laughs> And uh, I bought some graham crackers so we can all enjoy it. But let me tell you, my goodness, how delicious it is. I'm going to share it with you. Nobody here has had it before at all. And so I'm going to share it with everybody. So who wants? Who wants some? Everybody in the studio. i got to plug in this fire real quick. <laughs> I feel like this is going to end terribly. It'll end beautifully. <laughs> Ye of little marshmallow faith. Do you Listen to that fire roar. Oh, it's a roaring fire. <laughs> is this going to actually like just melt them or is it going to catch fire? Well, like, okay, so normal campfire, it would, of course would catch fire and it's the best part. It's my favorite. Right. You like the burnt ones? Oh, I fuck. <laughs> 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 
marked one. Man, you are really passionate. I know, we're going to yeah. get kicked off. Um, oh. That wonderful hard shell, like that crunchy yeah. black coating. Yeah, I really like the like the gooey uh, on the carcinogenic inside. properties of burnt things. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, what yes. about you, uh, Andrew? Do you have, is it hot? I mean, I did not become the man I am today by not liking food in all its forms. <laughs> yep. Yep. So. I'm trying. What kind of things would you eat when you went camping? Yes. Oh, just, yeah, everything. We always had, we always had chips. We were young chips. and dumb. We made a soup out of a beehive once. What? 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 We set fire to the hive and ah. then set fire to the bees as they were escaping it. Then we collected the burnt bees and threw them into a stew, including some other things like celery, onions, and what have you. What? Uh, oh, toasted it. Yeah, that's him. What? And then we slow cooked it. Not just murderers, all of you. <laughs> like. uh, I mentioned we were Boy Scouts. You didn't mention you were murderers. That's why bees are endangered? Yeah, like, Boy Scouts. I feel like when I said the first part, the second part goes hand in hand. On fire? Yes. I, they were bees. Can I say that that sounds uh, like some Skyrim business? Okay. <laughs> Look at all the gray in my beard and yeah. acknowledge that at the time bees were not endangered. Yeah, that's, okay, that's fair. But you single-handedly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first, oh, folks. You clock. can blame the Boy Scouts of America. No, no. I only took part in destroying two beehives. Okay. Okay, one of these is ready. And one of them was at our home. We yeah, do you need somebody to help yeah. you? Yeah. We so. thought of this and then didn't think to bring plates. No. Which didn't. I guess is like a classic whoopsies Whoops. camping. Whoopsie camping. <laughs> oh, Gotta yeah, make do. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put it. Oh, the take, other one. Take the top. Right. Yeah. God. Help me. Ah. I, do. I don't know how to do s'mores. <laughs> I just know that this is the best version. Okay, eat that. Look how beautiful and monochromatic it is. I feel weird about eating. <laughs> Given uh, all the signs that say don't eat in these woods, mm -hmm. yeah. because this is how you get ants, uh, 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 and we don't want to have ants it? in the tent. Mm -hmm. We don't want ants in the tent, that's true. Mm -mm. Andrew, your turn. How does it make you feel? Um, like my blood sugar is skyrocketing. Yeah. Yeah, I am quite looking forward to a good case of diabetes with this. Mm -hmm. That's what s'mores are for, baby. It is a nice combination. Do you feel like it is better than regular s'mores? No, Anybody because there's... A, want a s'more? Who else wants a s'more? Who else wants a s'more? All right. Band members want a s'more. S'mores all around. Um, I think that um, there's a bitterness to milk chocolate yeah. and its ability to melt faster. Sure. That is nice. Um, this is too much. I think this is too much cookies and cream. <laughs> like maybe the three, the three piece. Three piece, three mm -hmm. piece suit. Yep. I'm gonna mm -hmm. put these farther down because mm -hmm. they're just, or like to mm -hmm. toggle them. Yeah, toggling. If I knew I was gonna Stagger. be eating a s'more, I might've shaved. Stagger, that's better. So. Well, it's a good what thing that I bought the big ones, too. Oh, we got like eight minutes left. Oh, man, we're doing great. Eight uh, minutes of s'mores. Maybe the band should join us by the fire. Yeah, Bam, you want to come, come by fire? the fire? Come on over. Camping's all about friendship, meeting new friends while you're camping. Playing guitar. Playing guitar. Banging on drums. Around. Yeah, you can have a seat. Absolutely. Welcome. Yeah, just yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're not okay. Mike. You guys just <laughs> yell. Yeah. Sorry, you know what? Just steal your mics from over oh, there. Yeah. Today, we're time to go. Oh, he's. Oh, there he is. Grab Sorry, them mics. Give them mics, please. We need to be quiet campers. No, you don't need to be quiet, quiet campers. campers. <laughs> we want you to get rowdy. <laughs> so prepare for this have, mess. Have you ever had oh, uh, s'mores like this cool. before? Yeah. No, I haven't. Not like this, no. No, they have not had s'mores <laughs> like this. With this beautiful electric fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Nature is beautiful. Where did you get that? Nature fire? is beautiful. <laughs> and has screens. And has screens. <laughs> if anybody else has any camping stories and want to call in. Oh man, we'd love to hear them. Yeah, just hold the That's mic and talk to you. Into it. Just I used like to go. To yeah, it. you're fishing a lot. Yeah. Oh, somebody says that they know you. You know me? It says, hi, Scoot. Oh, that's not me. It's, it's Mabs, Mabs now or Mabs snow? Mabs snow. Um, hi. I'm <laughs> um, so I'm kind of wondering uh, what kind of spaceship you think Kurt was on when he told his yeah. Sasquatch story. Cause I was oh, hearing yeah, this like. Well, there was no. dogs there. I heard there, he had dogs a dog, too. But maybe he had a dog on his like lonely spaceship. Yeah, that's true. With some sort of like moon esque <laughs> plot line. Yeah, you just keep doing the biggest, per, like, prepare for the most cookies and cream. I hope you like cookies and cream. <laughs> it is delicious. Oh. No, just cookies and cream bar. Come join us, John. Yeah. You can stand, you can pop a squat, you can sit there. For you, for somebody. So I appreciated that story. I did too. I like a good call in with your ghost stories. Yeah. Sasquatch stories. Whatever. Maybe you survived some sort of. Terrible fall once. It beats Call my in. Sasquatch I want to hear about story. It. <laughs> What's your Sasquatch story? My older brother went streaking at college once. <laughs> and it turns out, like, as the credits will say, my last name is Furman. <laughs> and in our family, we're literally named. No one realized he was naked. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's how literally Here named we are. Thank you. Does, uh, does... Does chat want us more? Hey chat, you want us more? Hold up. Nobody's answered yet. They're too busy waiting for us to get to diabetes. Did you guys enjoy playing in the forest? Yes, it was very, very scenic. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. What was your That's favorite cool. part about the forest? Yeah. Just the cool breeze. Yeah. You know? We've got Dave on the line. Hey, oh, Dave! Dave. <laughs> Now that we sounded like an X-wing to me. <laughs> you want us more, John? No, I'm good, thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Thank you, anyways. Does anyone in the crew want us more? Yes. Yeah, Tony wants sugar. Miranda wants them. What about Andrew? Does he want more? Andrew ate his s'more. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Food does not last long around me. <laughs> well, do you Sorry, guys have Dave. any camping stories? Have you have you gone camping? Where have you camped? Why have you camped? Talking to what the mic. have you camped? <laughs> Were you abandoned in the woods? Yes. No, I wasn't abandoned. But <laughs> I've only gone to the woods voluntarily. Uh, I've enjoyed every trip. Um, oh. You know, just camped around. Been around. Oops, sorry. Camping around. Camping, Camping around. around. I can't say I have anything too creepy to share, fortunately. Hmm. It's been very pleasant. Yeah, 10 out of 10 experiences. <laughs> Would recommend. The last camping trip we went on, um, something died, and we could smell it in camp, but we could not find the carcass. Oh, no. I was going to hold that for him. Yeah. There you go. And then we went looking for it and got really scared that we should probably not be looking for the dead thing. <laughs> oh, man. Because, you know, like an animal would be looking for the dead thing. So when I went camping at your meadow place, mm -hmm. I would like to set the record straight. Will you tear that in half, please? Your family was convinced that Tony and I had sex in the forest uh, when we were looking at fireworks. But here's the deal. We were looking at fireworks. We had sex earlier in the forest. <laughs> Not at that moment. But Lion like, family? Isn't that like... Sky rockets in flight. Yeah, it's basically afternoon like afternoon delight. Ooh, afternoon delight. Is that allowed on Twitch? Sure. <laughs> um, you want to squeeze it? Oop, what squeeze do you need to add Oh no! I broke that one. It's okay. We'll just, you just don't know your own strength. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, he's gonna get the camera all sticky. <laughs> he's gonna get the camera all sticky. He might Just have like already. In that forest. Forest. Yeah. All right, we got like three minutes left. Yeah, and we're having Dave. a really nice time camping. Yeah, this camp trip is like the best. It only took five and a half hours to get here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
we ran out of podcast <laughs> three hours in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dave should recall. Yeah, Dave should recall. Is that a or everybody total anybody. recall? Anybody call? Anybody call? Give me Tony. That it's smoke. right here. Oh. This is Tony. Well, that's his butt at least. And um, take it back to your station. <laughs> <laughs> Know your place. <laughs> yeah. Your crew not talent. <laughs> we got Remember one. where you came from. <laughs> we got one more s'more, right? Yeah. S'more what? Thank God, it's s'more. never gonna get old it's for me. It's never old. Um, I will. Would you like Hello? to? Look? Hello. Hello, is that Dave. <laughs> Are you sick? Oh, Dave, you got one minute. That was some crazy static. I was just calling because when I was in Boy Scouts, uh, shout out to the Boy Scouts, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the way we put out the fire was we would all gather around and we would take our wangs out and we would heat on the fire to put it out. <laughs> oh, I mean. Yeah, our cocks, our penises. What am I supposed to say on TV? <laughs> or ding dong. Ding dong. He left a bag at my house. Dave? He was like, Dave, gather Dave, around you in the circle. Dave, you left a bag at Miranda's house. Unrelated But this to is people. like the unofficial thing. Okay. This isn't in the manual. I mean, waste not, want not, really. That's Speaking, what I'm hearing. Aren't we supposed to, like, I put out the fire? I just wanted to share yeah. that. All right. Thank you for reminding us, Dave, that we need to put out this fire. Thank put you so much. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. 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 Go